Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. We will now pray the Holy, Los Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which you partake of Christ, his sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food, and this bread contain all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacraments of your body and blood Help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom. We are with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Wind of heaven, rejoice, Alleluia. For he whom you did merit to bear, Alleluia. As risen as he said, Alleluia. Pray for us to God, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia. For the Lord is truly, truly risen, Alleluia. <coughs> Let us pray. O God, who, who gave joy, joy to, to the world, to the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant, we beseech, beseech you, that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be, forever. Amen. The Joyful Mysteries The first joyful mystery, the Annunciation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day the we bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third joyful mystery, the birth of Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Four Joyful Mystery, The Presentation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth joyful mystery, the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God. God. Despise not, not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, wherever glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only, whose only begotten, begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve the Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer for the Golden Anniversary of Dominican Province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we praise you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and see the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share with all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, 
pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Monday, in the fourth week of Easter. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my, and my mouth shall declare your praise. The Lord is risen, alleluia. The Lord is Lord risen, is risen alleluia. alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord, the Lord is, risen. is risen, alleluia. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King of all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. The Lord, the Lord is risen. Alleluia. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. The Lord, the Lord is risen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. The Lord, the Lord is risen. Alleluia. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, there are people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. The Lord, the Lord is risen. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord, the Lord is risen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Please be seated. Let the splendor of the Lord our God be upon us. Alleluia. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Before the mountains were born, or the earth or the world brought forth, you are God without the beginning or end. You turn man back to the dust and say, Go back, sons of men. To your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday, come and gone no more than a watch in the night. You sweep men away like a dream, like grass which springs up in the morning. In the morning it springs up and flowers, by evening it withers and fades. So we are destroyed in your anger, struck with terror in your fury. Our guilt lies open before you, our secrets in the, in the light of your face. All our days pass away in your anger, our life is over like a sigh. Our span is seventy years, or eighty for those who are strong. And most of these are emptiness and pain. They pass swiftly, and we are gone. Who understands the power of your anger, and fears the strength of your fury? Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, relent, is your anger forever. 
show pity to your servants. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exalt and rejoice all our days. Give us joy to balance our affliction for the years when we knew misfortune. Show forth your work to your servants. Let your glory shine on their children. Let the favor of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the word of your, our hands. Give success to the word of our hands. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I will turn darkness into light before them. Alleluia. Sing to the Lord a new song, His praise from the end of the earth. Let us see and what fills its resound, the coastlands and those who dwell in them. Let the steep and its cities cry out, the village where Kedar dwells. Let the inhabitants of Sila exult and shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and utter His praise in the coastlands. The Lord goes forth like a hero, like a warrior he steer up here his header. He shout out his battle cry against his enemies, he shows his might. I have looked away and kept silence. I have said nothing, holding myself in. But now I cry out as a woman in labor, gasping and panting. I will lay waste mountains and hills. All their herbage I will dry up. I will turn the rivers into marshes, and at the marshes I will dry up. I will lead the blind on their journey. By paths unknown, I will guide them. I will turn darkness into light before them, and make crooked ways straight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord does whatever He wills. Alleluia. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise Him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the course of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to His name, for He is loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for Himself, and Israel for His own possession. For I know the Lord is great, that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever He wills, in heavens and earth in the sea. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain. From the treasuries he sends forth the wind. The firstborn of the Egyptian he smote, of men and the beasts alike. Signs and wonders he worked in the midst of our, your land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Sihon, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan, he let Israel inherit the land. On his people, their land he bestowed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, perfect light of the blessed, by whose gift we celebrate the Paschal Mysteries on earth, bring us, we pray, to rejoice in the full measure of your grace for ages unending through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles and the brothers who were in Judea heard that the Gentiles too had accepted the word of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers confronted him, saying, You entered the house of, of uncircumcised people and ate with them. Peter began and explained it to them step by step, saying, I was at prayer in the city of Joppa, when in a trance I had a vision, something resembling a large sheet coming down, lowered from the sky by its four corners, 
and it came to me. Looking intently into it, I observed and saw the four-legged animals of the earth, the wild beasts, the reptiles, and the birds of the sky. I also heard a voice say to me, Get up, Peter, slaughter and eat. But I said, Certainly not, sir, because nothing profane or unclean has ever entered my mouth. But a second time a voice from heaven answered, What God has made clean, you are not to call profane. This happened three times. And then everything was drawn up again into the sky. Just then three men appeared at the house where we were, who had been sent to me from Caesarea. The Spirit told me to accompany them without discriminating. These six brothers also went with me, and we entered the man's house. He related to us how he had seen the angel standing in his house, saying, Send someone to Joppa and summon Simon, who is called Peter, who will speak words to you by which you and all your household will be saved. As I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them, as, I, as it had upon us at the beginning. And I remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave them the same gift he gave to us when we came to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I to be able to hinder God? When they heard this, they stopped objecting and glorified God saying, God has then granted life-giving repentance to the Gentiles too. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. As the hind longs for the running waters, so my soul longs for you, O God. A thirst is my soul for God, the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst is my soul for the living God. Send forth your light and your fidelity. They shall lead me on and bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. A thirst is my soul for the living God. Then will I go into the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then will I give you thanks upon the harp, O God, my God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. Please stand. shepherd says the Lord I know my sheep and mind know me And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Amen, Amen, I say to you, 
Whoever does not enter a sheepfold through a gate, but climbs over elsewhere, is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through a gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice, as he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him, because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him, because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, they did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, Amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Angkop na angkop ang ating pagbasa ng Ibanghelyo para sa araw na ito. Pagpapatuloy ng ating Panginoon upang makilala natin siya bilang isang mabuting pastol. Sa araw na ito, naghahanap din tayo ng mga taong sasalamin sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo na magiging mabuting pastol, mga mamumuno sa ating gobyerno. Ang Biblia ay hindi tumutukoy ng tuwiran kung sino ang ating iboboto. Walang iniindorso. Subalit, sa pagpapaliwanag ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo tungkol sa mabuting pastol, inihahanda tayo kung paano tayo tatanggap ng mga paalala ng Panginoon kung sino yung mga tamang tao na ilalagay natin upang maging kinatawan niya at magpapatuloy para sa atin ang kanyang pagiging mabuting pastol. Unang-una, kailangan makinig tayo sa mabuting pastol, ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristong laging nananawagan sa atin. Yan ang unang-unang dapat nating gawin, makinig sa Kanya. Lagi ngayong naririnig natin sa salitang Latin pa, laganap, sinasabi, Vox Populi, Vox Dei. Apagka sinaling wika nyo sa Tagalog yan, ibig sabihin, ang boses ng mamamayan, ang boses ng Diyos. Totoo yan, totoo yan, kung, kung ang mga mamamayan ay nakikinig sa Diyos. Kaya kinakailangan kung gusto nating maging boses ng Diyos bilang mamamayan, makikinig tayo sa Diyos. Ngayon, paano tayo makikinig sa Diyos? Kaya tayo nagdadasal. Nagdadasal na sama-sama. Sapagkat ang pagdadasal ay mabisang paraan para makinig sa Diyos. Ang pagdadasal Pakikinig sa Diyos sapagkat iniaalay natin ang puso natin sa Diyos. Tingnan nyo, pag kayo nakikinig, ginagamit nyo yung dalawang tenga. Hindi lamang isa, dalawa. Yung dalawang tenga yan, kapag ka pinagdikit nyo, magkokorting puso. Kaya isa lamang ang tunay na pakikinig. Pakikinig sa puso. Hindi yung makikinig ka sa isang tenga, lalabas yung sinasabi ng pinakikinggan mo sa kabila. Pinakailangan magdikit yung dalawang tenga para bumaba 
doon sa puso. Para yung puso malinis. Maging malinis. Upang sa ganon, makita natin ang katotohanan. Sapagkat pinapangako lamang sa mga taong malilinis na puso, sila lamang ang makakakita ng katotohanan. Yung mga tao na puro malisya ang puso, malisyoso, malisyosa, walang nakikita yan kundi kadiliman. Kaya nga makirinig nyo ang pangako dun sa mga taong malilinis ang puso. Yung tinatawag natin beatitude, mapapalad. Mateo 5.8 Ano sinasabi? Mapapalad ang malilinis ang puso sapagkat makikita nila ang Diyos. O kita ninyo ha, ang pangako ha? Ang Diyos makikita lamang ng mga malilinis ang puso. Kapag ka ikaw'y malisyoso, malisyosa, marumi ang budhe, ay nabubuhay ka sa kadiliman. At sa kadiliman, wala kang makikita. Ang mararamdaman mo lang ay sarili mo, di ba? Kapag ka kayo'y may brown out, o hindi nyo nakikita kung sino nasa harapan nyo, kung sino nasa likod, kung sino nasa tagiliran. Ang nararamdaman nyo lang, sarili ninyo. Kaya ang nagiging sukatan, upang sa ganon, mapansin nyo, ang kapaligiran nyo, yung sarili lang ninyo. Sarili lang natin. Ang boses lang natin ang napapakinggan. Boses lang natin. Yung katawan lang natin ang ating nararamdaman. O, kaya yung ating pagpapasya, ang pinagbabasihan, puro sarili, puro sarili, puro sarili. Iyon ba ang tama na magiging desisyon? Kung puro sarili lamang ang ating nakikita at ang ating nararamdaman. Kaya tayo nagdadasal ngayon, minumulat ang ating mga tenga para pag nagdikit yung dalawang yan, isang puso at makikipag-ugnayan tayo, hindi lamang sa ating sarili, kundi sa Diyos at sa ating kapwa. Yun, magkakaroon tayo ng tunay na pagkakaisa. Yun ang pagkakaisang tinatawag natin. Sapagkat mahirap maunawaan ang pagkakaisa kapag ka ikaw'y malisyoso at malisyosa. Minsan, napagkakamala natin yung pagkakaisa ay pagkakapare-pareho. Unity is not uniformity. Sapagkat if unity is uniformity, it will be one-sided. Isang panig lang. Isa lang ang papanigan. E ang mga tao nagkakaiba-iba. At hindi mo pwedeng wasakin ang pagkakaiba-iba ng mga tao. Nilikha ng Diyos ang mga tao na iba-iba. Itong paring ito, wala kayong makikitang Xerox copy na ganito. Isang kopya lang to. At kayo din, ganun din. Walang makikitang ganyan sa inyo. Maski yung mga anak ninyo, kahit galing sa sinapupunan ninyo, maski yung kanyang genetic constitution, iba sa inyo. Iba-iba. Subalit so, ganun pa man, yung pagkakaibang yun, pwedeng pag-isahin. Hindi mo dapat wasakin. Tingnan nyo ang Diyos, ano? Minahal tayo kahit tayo iba. Ibang-iba tayo sa Diyos. Ang Diyos, banal na banal. Ako, makasalanan. Oh, minahal niya ako. Bagamat ako'y iba. At ganun din kayo. 
Kayo ba matutuwa kapag sinabi ng master niyo, mga misis, na kayo yung pinakasalan niya sapagkat kayo kamukhang kamukha niya? Di ba mas masarap at mas matamis pag sinabi ng mister niyo, alam mo, ang dami kong niligawan, pero sa dinami-dami ng aking niligawan, ikaw ang aking pinakasalan sapagkat iba ka sa lahat ng mga babaeng nakilala ko. O, oh, di ba? Mas masarap pakinggan yun. Kayo ba matutuwa ng mga taga-manawag kung sasabihin ko sa inyo, kaya ko kayo mahal sapagkat lahat kayo kamukhang kamukha ko. Baka pagkatapos na may isa, puntahan niyo ako at sabihin sa akin, Father, huwag niyo naman ako isama sa inyong kamalasan. O huwag niyo mawa sa akin yung pagkakaiba't iba sapagkat yung pagkakaiba't iba, kahit iba't ibang panig yan, pwedeng pag-ugnayin. Hindi isang panig lang ang pakikinggan. Sapagkat kung isang panig lang ang pakikinggan, Pingas ang ating pagtingin sa larawan. Kung isang tinig lang ang pakikinggan, bigo ang ating pakikinig. Kaya nga sinasabi nila, no? one-sidedness is the root of all mistakes. Yung isang panig lang. Kapag ka, gusto mo magkaroon ng buong pagkakaalam ng katotohanan, makinig ka sa lahat ng panig. Hindi lang yung gusto mong marinig. Hindi lang yung panig sa iyo, pakinggan mo. Makikinig ka rin sa iba. Hindi ka lang makikinig doon sa mga kaibigan mo. Sapagkat pagkaibigan mo, puro papuri ang maririnig mo. Kadalasan. Makinig ka rin sa hindi mo mga kaibigan. Minsan may sasabihin sa iyong masakit yan, pero may katotohanan. Ngayon, magkakaroon ka ng balancing pananaw. O kaya nga sinasabi natin, itong mabuting pastor, tinatawag lahat ng tupa. Lahat! Tinatawag ng ating Panginoon, hindi lamang yung mga sumunod sa Kanya, pati yung mga hindi sumunod sa Kanya, pati yung mga nagpapako sa krus sa Kanya, tayong lahat. Inklusibo ang tawag doon, hindi eksklusibo. Sapagat kung yung mabuting pastol ay eksklusibo, ay patay. Isang panik lang. At kung yan ang ating iboboto, yung mga taong eksklusibo lamang, isang panig lang ang pinakikinggan, isang panig lang ang pinapapaburan, ah, ano yan, maglilingkod lang yan sa isang panig. Ang paglilingkuran lang yan, yung mga kapitalista at negosyante, sapagkat yung mga manggagawa, eh, mga langgam lang yan eh. Ang paglilingkuran lang yan, yung mga bata, hindi yung matatanda, sapagkat yung mga bata, may kinabukasan pa. Yung mga matatanda, mamamatay naman yan eh. Ang paglilingkuran lang yan, yung mga malalaking tribo, mga Tagalog, mga Kapampangan, mga Ilocano, mga Bisaya, hindi yung mga Mansaka, Manobo, Igurot, yung mga maliliit, mga Mangyan, naka, yung mga yan, wala namang mga pinag-aralan yan eh. I isang panik lang. Hindi ka iibig sapagkat ang pag-ibig pangkahalatan. Love everybody, di ba? Ang sabi nga ng Panginoon, eh, hindi lamang yung mga kaibigan mo dapat mo ibigin, pati yung kaaway mo, ibigin mo. Oh, inclusive. Saan niya nalalaman at saan niya na ituturo? Sa pamilya. Kayo ba mga nanay, tatay, tinuturuan niyo na yung mga anak ninyo maging inclusive, hindi exclusive? O baka tinuturo niyo lang doon sa mga anak ninyo, charity begins at home. Totoo yun. 
Charity begins at home. Pero may dagdag pa kayo. Charity begins at home and it ends here. Ang pag-ibig nagsisimula sa bahay at natatapos sa bahay. Kaya, ang ipopromote mo lang ay yung sariling kapakanan ng iyong pamilya. Pamilya. O kaya tayo mga Pilipino, nagyayabang ano, we are family-centered. Madikit daw tayo sa mga pamilya. Ang hirap nito, parang nagkamali tayo ng turo. Dapat sana tinuro natin, hindi lang yung family begins at home. Tama yun. Pero nangyari, family begins at home and it ends there. Kaya ang Pilipinas, tingnan nyo, pag-aari lang ng ilang pamilya. Sino mga mayayaman? O malalaman mo sa kanilang apelido sa pamilya. Sino mga pangyarihan? Ano ah, sa apelido yan? Ako? Sabihin nyo pangalan ko, walang price tag. Hindi ako mayamang pamilya. Walang power tag. Isang matandang pari lang ako dito na dayo sa Manawa. Sino ako? Walang pangalang nagsisilbi dito. Ang ayoko lang, kung ako'y nagsisilbi, kayong lahat pagsisilbihan ko. Na yung hindi ako magsisilbi sa isang pamilya lang. Ang Pilipinas ay para sa lahat ng Pilipino. Hindi para sa isang pamilya lang. Sapagkat ang gusto ng Diyos, tayong lahat, anak niya. Hindi yung anak lang ni Jose, anak lang ni Porfirio, anak lang ni Bertolome, ang mukhang mga anak ng Diyos. Bakit? Sila lang ang mayaman, sila lang ang makapangyarihan. At yung mga anak ni Juan, mga anak ni Isidro, mga mukhang anak ng Diyos, sinilang na magsasaka, nakatakot-takot ang utang, at namatay, nakatakot-takot pa rin ang utang. Nagsilbi sa bayan, ng katakot-takot. Pero parang nabuhay na hindi anak ng Diyos. We all stand to pray. For every intention, we are going to say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Father, God's chosen shepherd, may lead us into the ways of righteousness, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That Christian believers may become one flock under one shepherd, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our young people may have life and have it to the full, through fidelity to the Good Shepherd, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and those who suffer may, may trust in Jesus, the Good Shepherd, who came to rescue the lost sheep, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the intentions of Reverend Francis Bore Opi, we are celebrating his profession anniversary today, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the intentions of these Mass, the intentions of the pilgrims and devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, Lord hear our prayer, that the dead may pass through the gate of the sheepfold 
and rejoice with the shepherd and guardian of their souls. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, grant us that we may follow the example of the Good Shepherd whose love is inclusive, without borders that extends to everybody, so that we may not just be practicing love that starts at home and ends at the home, but rather includes everyone as our brothers and sisters, so that we may follow the teaching of Jesus that the Spirit is thicker than the blood. We ask you this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, for the divine works of human hands, this will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, for on this day, above all, to love you more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
He took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again, until you come again, we proclaim. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francisco, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Dominic and Saint Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Please stand. <clears throat> Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come. come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all these threats as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. 
please kneel. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray for the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of the nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us to grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. I am the good shepherd. I pasture my sheep, and I lay down my life for them. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, free to from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he showed to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, 
to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shun on those who dwell in the darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I am, I the, am good the Good Shepherd. shepherd. I, I pasture, pasture my sheep, and I lay, and I lay down, down my life for them. them. Alleluia. Alleluia. Kami po ito sa puso nagpapasalamat sa lahat sa inyong nagsidalo at nakiisa sa pagdiriwang ng Santa Eucharistia. Naway pagpatuloy niyo po ang pagdarasal para sa aming mga naglilingkod sa inyo dito sa Basilica Minore of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. At makakaasa kayo na kami magpapatuloy din sa pagdarasal para sa inyo at sa inyong mga pamilya. Let us pray. Look with kindness. Upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those who are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Now please join as we pray for the blessing of the sick, then followed by the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick and aging brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness. Restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.